everybody. This is Mrs. Mandela, the assistant principal at Gardner Manor, and I'm going to give you a tour of our awesome building. This is the main entrance for the children. Um, it will go into our lobby, and some of the children coming off the bus will actually come into the school this way. This is our main lobby. You can see that we have a fish tank that the children love looking at each day. These are our beautiful courtyards. We have two beautiful courtyards in Gordon Manor. This is the rest of our lobby. Right now, we're not using our cafeteria, but it is located beyond these doors. We notify and put pictures of children up on our digital display for all of the events. This is the hallway that leads to our kitchen. And we also have our band and orchestra lessons down the end of the hallway. But this is the cafeteria. Right now, children are not getting their lunches at the cafeteria, but lunches are being delivered to them. Each of our hallways are named. This is our friendship hallway. This is predominantly third grade classes. This is some of our teachers. Today is Wednesday, so the teachers are planning together. Giving say hello to parents. We have our ENL rooms beautiful bulletin boards that the teachers put up and change seasonally. I'm walking towards the gym. We have our gym separated into three different parts right now. This is where our custodians um, do all their work for the building, but here is one of our gymnasiums. This is one out of three. Those walls open up and make it one huge area. If any of you have ever visited in the past, that's where we have our circus. This is the gym hallway. In this hallway, we have speech and reading. Once again, that's our beautiful courtyard. We're coming up to the computer lab. Mrs. Cox is our computer teacher. She teaches our children computer keyboard skills, research skills. I'll take you inside of her computer lab right now. That is Mrs. Cox, and this is the computer lab. Children are coming to the computer lab, and they are doing their work in the computer labs weekly. This is our library. Right now, our librarian is visiting all of the classrooms, but this is the library. Today, we have a luncheon set up for our teachers to celebrate back to school. As I continue down the hallway, this is another courtyard speech rooms, reading rooms, copy areas. And when I come down here to the end of this hallway, we will be seeing where the majority of our third grade classrooms are to the left. Here are two third grade teachers that are walking up here right now. Say hello. hello. We're heading down towards the art room. Once again, because of the pandemic, the art and music teachers are visiting the classrooms and giving special areas in the classrooms. So this is the art room. This is the inside of one of our fourth grade classrooms. 
Hi, Mrs. Pius. As you can see, desks are being socially distanced. And once again, these are the rest of our third grade classrooms. This is one of our exits that goes out to our recess area. Children are permitted to play on the equipment. That equipment is being sanitized every day. Children wash their hands when they come in from playing. But I will just take you outside the doors so you can see the outside playground. Children will have recess every day, have the opportunity to play with their classes. You can see also we have social distancing footprints on the floor to help children with understanding what six feet of space actually means. So as I'm walking down this hallway, we are going to the fifth grade classrooms. Straight ahead. We have a beautiful building here at Gardner Manor. If all the students were here, we would have approximately 730 students. That's Mrs. Manzo. Right now, we have about 240 students attending each day, and we have about that many on virtual learning. This is one of our fifth grade classrooms. That's Mrs. Rathburn. Teachers are working today, preparing lessons, meeting with students through their Google Hangouts. This is a virtual classroom. Off. <laughs> right um, now, sure there's a virtual ahead. lesson going on. Mrs. Thompson is actually meeting with students and doing a social emotional lesson. So these are all fifth grade classrooms. And when we come to the end of this hallway, we have additional reading rooms. Mrs. Morales' room, Mrs. Dominic, more third grade classrooms. And then we have our music room at the end. Mr. Dooley is another virtual teacher for third grade. He's currently speaking with our assistant superintendent and our director of technology. And we have our music room. Right now, students are not coming to the music room. Music is going to them but we have a plethora of instruments and different musical materials that students utilize for both band orchestra and choir and regular general music so as i shared with you before each of the hallways are labeled they're named and we exemplify these qualities this is the kindness hallway. Now I'm coming back to the big square. This is our book room. We have leveled books in here that the teachers utilize in their differentiated reading groups. It's start with hello week. So the children are starting to put their positive messages on the hello sign. Again, we have teachers collaborating in a fifth grade classroom. This is our Be the Eye and Kind program, where we catch children being kind and we acknowledge the fact. You'll be hearing more about that. This is Mrs. Knapp in the resource room. This is our teacher's faculty room. Um, teachers will come here for lunch. Again, a courtyard and we're almost finishing up our tour. Here we have our school psychologist, Mrs. Galing. This is her office. Say hello, Mrs. Galing. Hi. Mrs. Galing is our school psychologist. She runs our CFPs and supports our students. Here's our Scholar of the Month board. You'll be hearing more about our Scholars of the Month right here. 
is our nurse's office. Mrs. Brown is our nurse. This is our health check room, okay, to check the wellness of the children each day. And we're coming down to our fourth grade hallway. That's Mr. Mendolia, our music teacher. These are all fourth grade classrooms. This is Mrs. Cipher's room. You can see the inside of a fourth grade classroom. You can see each desk, once again, is six feet apart. Students have their bins that they keep their belongings in. So as you can see, we have a phenomenal building here at Gardner Manor. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call myself or Mr. Brown. This is the social worker's office. Let me see if I can peek in. And we can just say hi to Mrs. Soto, our social worker. She's conducting a session right now with a student. Say hi, Mrs. Condon. This hi. is our reading teacher, Mrs. Condon. She's making copies. My office. This is the main office and our secretarial staff that we couldn't live without. And we have Mr. Brown, our school principal. This is the principal's office. Say hi, Mr. Brown. And that is going to conclude our tour. Once again, we wanna welcome everybody to Gardner Manor School, and please call us if you ever have any questions or concerns. We are so excited to have our scholars back in the school building, and we look forward to meeting all of you personally. Have a great evening.